Come on, Bob, get on your uh, Zach uh, Eady soapbox. Come on. Well, uh, you see, I would draft him if I was the Raptors and he's available. I would take him. See? Yep, 100%. I would the guy not. was the player of the year last year, and he's going to be player of the year this year. Two years in a row. Um, that kind of guy doesn't come along every day. His skills don't transfer to the league. He's not athletic enough. How can you say that? How can you say it? The guy scores 30 it. points a night. You know, are you telling me he won't score? Yeah, he's league? scoring it. He's scoring it against Frank McCowan and Bob Shannon. He's so, not doing uh, that against well, LeBron. Hey, college basketball hey, Bob Shannon was a pre- Bob Shannon was a pretty good basketball player. Come no, on. I don't. I <laughs> uh, yeah, Bill Sharman. I don't see it. I mean, listen, maybe I'm wrong. I I, I yes, don't see. He's, he's improved. I think he probably can get a roster spot in the NBA, but I wouldn't touch him. I wouldn't go near the guy at all. He's just for the modern game. He can't shoot. Can you have to shoot? Big guys have to shoot. He can't shoot from the outside. I don't see it. You know what? You turn the game back the way it used to be, and you make your your center play post. Ugh. And he he's a winner that way. Yeah, if that center he'll rebound is- like crazy, he'll block shots and he'll score. Yeah, if that center is Kareem, great. He's yeah. not. Well, I, I I have I've I've said this to Bob before, uh, Richard is that the thing that concerns, first of all, you can't teach height, okay? You can't teach height. So that's the one thing he's got going for him. Right. But uh, I think scouts are probably really, really scared of his strength because he's not very, for the, a man that size, he's not, he's not very strong and he's going to get pushed around. The he'll NBA get system. stronger, don't worry. Yeah, but how, oh, but how? But but in that's two it, years okay. he'll be strong enough. But how patient? I'll tell you what, Bob. How patient will you be um, for him to learn the NBA game and to bulk up? Two well, years, three so years? You, How much? How patient will you be with any player? Well, that's. Uh, you but, think this draft is filled with class A guys? It's not. Well, no, it's it's not a, I agree with you on that. It doesn't look like a good job. I, I, to, here's the the reason why I wouldn't touch him is I just think the game has changed where these post guys, these seven footers have such skill to shoot. I mean, admittedly, this guy's a unicorn, but look at Webb and Yama versus Zach Eady. It looks like a different planet like player. I just, yeah. I don't know how this guy can play in the NBA with guys like that at center. Um, I hope I'm wrong. Cause I think, but, but by the way, is that, a, is that a, to your point about this draft not being as good as last year, is that even a fair comparison? Yeah, because, I mean, because but- draft years, we see this in every sport. Draft years, and people people think that they can put a square peg into a round hole all the time, saying, "Well, this guy's the first pick, so he's got to play this year." Right, and it's not fair. No, I agree. And again, it's not like I have any knowledge. No, no, none of the three of us are are like scouting players. This is just based on what I've read from people I trust and the. The all those experts say this is a down draft. They they're just the the it's nothing compared to next year. It's much worse than last year. There's no transcendent player coming in, and so I actually think in some ways that gives Zach Eady a chance to maybe go late first round. Exactly, that's exactly what I think. Yeah, I just wouldn't. I I would not touch him. Hold on, Bob. He Richard just said late first round. That's weird. You're saying. You're, 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 Richard said late first round, and you're thinking the Raptors should take him at six. Yep, absolutely. If he's available, if nobody else takes him, Trent, I don't I, think he'll be available. I, if Bob, if Bob takes him at six, I will fire Bob. I will Larry Tannenbaum and Edward Rogers fire Bob. I got news for you. He might not be available at six. I got, news, gone wait, wait. Already. I, I got news for you. Edward Rogers already fired him, Richard. So, <laughs> well, I call it a settlement, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, listen again. I hope I hope he makes it because I think he's got a great story, and I'd love seeing Canadians in, um, you know, do well. It, it'd be interesting. I don't know if he's going to make the Canadian Olympic team. That'd be cool if he can. Oh, he's uh, going to. We know he's going to camp. So I just, I again, like, I, like you, John. I, I just, he's. I think that guy's just going to get. He's just. There's just the guys in the NBA are like strong ass men, and I just yeah. don't see him being able to play in that kind of arena but you know listen you'll go 30th right well i'm not sure i will say this and again i'm not comparing these two guys but i will say one thing that bob said that is correct guys there are guys who do get to the league and they become super strong like if you looked at Giannis when he was drafted he was a thin skinny guy the guy looks like the hulk now 
So, I mean, people do get stronger and they do bulk up. I just, I don't see him as a seven footer having the abilities that great seven footers in the NBA have like Durant and Webb and Yama. Okay, name me five other guys. Name me five players who will be drafted ahead of him who are better than him. 